Hi everyone, this is Dr. Lakeisha J. Cole of thefaithoutcome.com and I'm also the author of Learning Body Systems and Diseases Just for Kids and Teens. This book can be found on my website, thefaithoutcome.com under the books section. This is a quick tip by Dr. Lakee. And it's a quick lesson, actually, on cellular biology. I want to talk about haploid cells, diploid cells, somatic cells, and the cell division known as meiosis and mitosis. Haploid cells are a single set of chromosomes. Diploid cells, by contrast, are a single set of chromosomes from each parent. Now, cells undergo cell division. Somatic cells, for example, connective tissue, blood cells, bone cells, nerve cells, muscle cells. These are examples of somatic cells. They are not associated with germ cells, which are egg and sperm cells. Somatic cells undergo cell division known as mitosis. Diploid cells, which are those cells that divide one from each parent, one set. You have 23 chromosomes from mom, 23 chromosomes from dad. And that totals to 46 chromosomes. As you understand diseases, you will understand that cells undergo a cellular division process. Cells must divide. Some cells die. Some cells must learn to grow and live. As you learn about the different types of cellular division, you will discover meiosis, M E I. O-S-I-S, which is different from mitosis, M-I-T-O-S-I-S. Mitosis is associated with somatic cells. It is not associated with germ cells, which are egg cells and sperm cells. You have gametes, which are sex cells. Our bodies must undergo reproductive processing. Our bodies have to reproduce. And cells have to make copy of themselves. As you understand that when these cells make copies of themselves, sometimes errors occur. Mistakes are made. That's known as mutants or mutations. Some of you may have seen the movie about mutations and mutants. When these errors occur, there will become disorder in the body. Disorder, dysfunction, or certain characteristics of disease or health conditions. You can study these diseases and health conditions a little bit more. In my book, Learning Body Systems and Diseases, it's for kids and teens, but adults can read it to their children and we can all learn together. Thank you. Remember, visit thefaithoutcome.com.